Hi, I'm Nicole Hemrick, and I'm the managing partner at Hemrick O'Malley PLLC. Today, I'd like to talk about the reasons why you may want to be registered into the H-1B lottery, even though you have an O-1 visa. Typically, people choose an O-1 as an alternative to the H-1B, but there are some reasons why an H-1B might be beneficial over and out. As you know, an H-1B is typically valid for three years at a time for up to six years, and it can be extended in three-year increments indefinitely until your priority date is current. By contrast, in many O-1 extensions, you can only get them for one year at a time. There are many circumstances where we at Hemrick O'Malley PLLC are able to get O-1 extensions for three years at a time, but this has to be structured in a very specific way. If you're only getting one year O-1 extensions, what it means is that it's hard to travel during that time because you know you have to go to the U.S. Embassy or consulate to keep getting a new visa stamp. This can be very tiresome and stress-inducing. Also, it is quite simple to transfer your H-1B over to a new employer. While, of course, you know, your credentials, if you are an O-1, are going to be viewed as extraordinary even with a new employer, we know that O-1s are very time-consuming applications to put together, so the time frame to move over to a new employer may be longer. Also, there are benefits to H-1B spouses. While the spouse of an H-1B holder, that is an H-4 visa holder, can get work authorization once the H-1B spouse becomes the beneficiary of an approved I-140, the spouse of an O-1 will not become eligible for a work authorization unless and until the O-3 spouse has applied for a green card and with that, a work authorization. Additionally, an H-1B is truly dual intent in that while a green card application, an I-45 is pending, a person in H-1B can still travel in and out on the H-1B visa. The O-1, unfortunately, cannot re-enter the U.S. unless and until he or she has gotten an advanced parole document. So this can create a challenge with having to travel for work, for family, or for pleasure. So just to recap here, while at Hemrick O'Malley, we love O-1 visas. In fact, it is personally my favorite visa type. We don't want to neglect the fact that there are some advantages to getting an H-1B. And even if you have an O-1, you may want to ask your employer to register you for the H-1B lottery to afford you that opportunity if those advantages would be beneficial to you. If you have questions about this or any other immigration matter, give us a call at 833-848-7838 or check us out online at www.hemrick.law.